Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Guys, we'll get started shortly. Uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, we'll get started shortly here. Uh, what Welcome, Bill. Welcome. Hey, Chris. Welcome, Chris. Hey, hey Charity. Dear. Welcome. Hey, guys. We'll get started. Chill. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome. All right, guys. As you guys know, this evening is um, our Forex, uh, Cryptos, and uh, Futures class. Uh, let me go ahead and share my screen. All right. All right. So you guys should see my screen here. So welcome, Mary. Hey, Chris. Hey, Bill. Hey, Charity. Um, uh, let's see here. Now, um, we had a big change in the markets um, on Friday, all right? So big um, move in the markets on Friday disrupted a lot of our, um, our Forex trades, all right? So our dollar trades were disrupted um, and also our yen trades were dis disrupted a bit. The Dow, I think, finished up. Um, uh, over 800 points. So that was a big day for the Dow. Um, but really, a um, lot of volatility in Forex. Um, so we'll go over that this evening. All right. So we'll go over um, what we see. So um, hopefully we'll continue. Right now, the yen pairs are up. All right. Um, so hopefully we will um, continue um, uh, the trends we had. Um, but just a lot of volatility um, that came in on Friday. All right. Um, looking at the futures market right now, um, 
Uh, the Dow futures are up. So the Dow is up currently 200 points. All right. Um, we're, we're seeing, we've gotten buy signals on the, um, uh, hey, Kawisi, welcome. Um, we've got buy signals um, on some of the, um, uh, the indexes. All right, on the, and we'll take a look at that on the 240 minute time frame. So if um if the equity markets continue to move higher, if these um, indexes continue to move higher, um and we get a buy signal on the other two, right on the other two um indexes. So the S and P, S and P and Nasdaq will call will call a buy signal. All right, um on the equity markets to move higher. All right. Um, we do have a new rotation uh, in energy. So I'll show you guys that. All right. So we do have a new rotation in energy, um, energy stocks. But right here, this is what we're looking at currently. The Dow right here in the futures market. So the E-mini futures are up. All right. The NASDAQ is up. All right. Um, the S&P E-mini is up. All right, and I'll open the floor for questions after this. And the Russell is up. So um, markets, uh, uh, equity markets are up this evening in the futures. Um, the dollar is down. So that's not good for our dollar pairs. Okay, that's not good for our dollar pairs. Dollar is down currently. Um, uh, let's see here. This is what we're looking at as far as equities. So, like I said, we've moved everything to the um, to the four hour time frame, all right? Because we're getting buying in 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 um, in the equity markets. Um, let's go back here. Uh, energy, right here, right? Where is it? Energy, 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 energy. Uh, crude oil, right here. Crude oil, moving up here, and then here it is, right here. Energy up right here okay so for us, our stock traders um really really your st our stock boss and bull master uh traders pay attention to your energy stocks this week okay really pay attention to your energy stocks this week all right um we've got a new um system here all right which is called forex market tracker okay forex market tracker all right, we'll be using this system to analyze uh, Forex. All right, um, as you guys know, we've added the 60 minute. Okay, so we've added the 60 minute. And, and this system here, Monster Forex Tracker, is designed to um, have everything on one screen. All right, it's not a system, it's a tracker. Okay, um, just like we have um, Monster Market Tracker right here. All right. Um, we have Monster Forex Tracker, all right? So currently, so we'll start using this system, all right, when we when we analyze uh, Forex, all right? Um, but again, you're, you're going to execute your trades through Monster Scalper, okay? Now, um, we've got, you guys know we've added the 60-minute time frame, all right? 60-minute um, time frame, we still trade on the 240, um, but we got a lot of white, all this white here, all right? We got white, a lot of white on the 240 and a lot of white on the 60-minute close on Friday, all right? And I send out a message on that. And what that tells us is that um, everything on Friday just basically came to a halt, all right? Everything basically came to a halt. So hopefully this week, starting to today, going into the week, we'll find um, better direction. All right. Um, watch your pairs. Watch your trades closely. A lot of the pairs closed. OK. Um, right now. Right now. Um, if you guys look here now, right now, the yen pairs, the yen pairs are moving. So this is current movement. All right. And most of the yen pairs right here are moving higher. They're moving up. OK. Um, so just we can we can use the monster forex tracker to figure out what's moving right now okay what's moving currently all right we don't trade up this we can analyze what's moving right now so everything has broken down if you guys look here so the pound is that the which pair is this the dollar yen 
on the 60 minute 240 gave sale signals. All right. So although they're moving, the yen pairs are moving up right now, we should not be buying. Okay. We should be basically out, um, out of the market. Okay. Out of Forex right now. They all broke down. See here. Right. All broke down quite a bit. A, a lot of volatility came in. Look at that. Crazy volatility on Friday. All right. So Friday was not a good day. Now we opened up the we opened up um the euro the euro session. Everything was fine, right? Moving up nicely, and then things just really broke down. Okay, but hopefully we can start getting some um buy signals again, and uh, we'll have to reassess which direction we're gonna go. Okay um if, and, and if we have a rotation at all but right now the yen pairs are moving right right now the yen pairs are moving um in the asian market all right um as far as cryptos um bitcoin is still holding so no change in bitcoin um bitcoin is holding at um 19,500 so same support area right here all right so Right at that 20,000 mark. So no big change. I'm surprised by that. All right. With the, with the big change with the markets, equity markets moving higher, uh, we would expect uh, Bitcoin to move higher. But right now it's just holding, um, holding that 20,000 mark. Okay. Right at 20,000. All right. But we can anticipate if the, if, you know, if we're getting buy signals here, right, buy signals here, things are starting to move up, right? And I know it's on a smaller time frame that we, you know, we normally look at the daily time frame. This is the 240 and the VIX is coming down. Okay. So we might get a move higher in crypto, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay. As far as um, Monster Scalper on the 240 minute time frame, like I said, um, a lot of the pairs, a lot of the yen pairs, um, let me go through them. All right. All right, totally collapsed. Um, so here, now um, we've got a white candle here. It's trying to recapture, trying to recapture that moving average. Okay, but again, if you, if you did not get out, all right, if you did not get out, all right, you might, might, might be okay. Okay, some of them are pulling back up. All right. Here is uh, New Zealand yen. Is anyone still? I know Charity. You mentioned you still. Um, anyone in the yen pairs? Anyone in the yen pairs right now? Anyone in the yen pairs? Bill, are you in any of the yen pairs? No, sir. You out? Okay. I'm out. Harry, how about you? Are you in any of the yen pairs? No. You out? Okay. Charity, you. Um, I know you were looking at staying in. Are you in any of the yen pairs, or you did you get out? Um, I'm still in all four of the ones that we mentioned before. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. It. It. Friday was such a. It was crazy. I mean, we, we haven't seen volatility like that. I mean, we've seen volatility in forex. But we saw a lot of volatility in, in um uh, on Friday. Okay, um, so it happens. That's not normal, but it will happen. Okay, um, uh, hey Carl, welcome. Okay, so uh, just just wait. Okay, um, just wait to take um new positions. Those of you that are out. Okay, just wait. Um. We are really liking um, the 60 minute time frame. Now, Friday wasn't a good example, but we are getting nice moves um, on the 60 minute time frame. Okay. Uh, so, right now, we don't have, you know, we don't have, you know, any, um, uh, any trends right now, but we'll watch it, right? We'll watch it. Um, it, it hopefully, we can see, we might see the, um, the yen pairs. I move higher. Uh, that's what we're seeing here. 
So in Monster uh, Forex Tracker, um, pound yen, pound yen this evening, it's 134%. So it's really moving up this evening. Um, Za yen, 129. Um, dollar yen, 120. TRY, JPY, 113. So, and the yen pairs are leading. So right here, if you guys look right here, right here, the yen pairs are all leading. But like I said, don't don't trade these yet because we don't have buy signals on this. All right, so all these yen pairs are uh, leading, leading right, leading the movement, and that's real time right now. Okay. What's the difference between this um, column that you're looking at and the other two? Okay, so this one here, what we've done um, for the um, forex. Um, um, monster forex tracker we've brought in the net um the change so the current price okay so the current price um uh, so the current change in price charity what the pairs are how the pairs are trading right now okay we still have our radar here but we brought in Right, because this is where we'll do research. So every um when we look at the pairs um on Sunday, okay, we'll look to see here, all right, the forex um tracker here. Hey Zaire, welcome. We'll look to see what's um what's leading, right? What's what which group is leading going into um um going into overnight, uh going into um Monday. Okay. Uh, not that they will stay. This will move, right? So this will move. Um, but this will give us some insight. That's why it's called Monster Forex Tracker. It will give us some insight into the um, the pairs that are moving. Um, I do some of this. So when I send you guys updates, right? So when we send updates on the best performing pairs based on percentages, all right? Um, this is where we get that information from. All right, Charity, does that help? Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. No, we don't trade off this. This is dangerous to follow um, um, the percentages that's moving because you can have, um, you can have a group, um, the pairs that are, that are moving higher, but then on the chart, we don't have any buy signals, okay? Um, but um, I follow this pretty i follow this a lot this is something that that we use um in house okay um but uh we'll start using it all right and um we'll offer it as an add on so those of you who want to get deeper into um you know tracking forex just like we have some traders that use the um monster market tracker to get deeper into the sectors um you guys can certainly do that, but I don't recommend that on, unless you're really unless you're looking to really pay attention um, to more of the macro. Okay. Um, uh, as far as um, as far as I want to show you guys here, um, yeah. So right now, hey Gerald, welcome. Um, right here, I wanted to show you guys this. On the 240, um, on the 240, we're seeing things slow down a bit. Hey, Gerald, welcome. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. Um, we're seeing things slow down a bit. Okay, so right now we've got 20, 28 pairs. All right, 28 pairs that are above 20 and trending. So. Um, we had a lot more pairs. As you guys know, we track 57 pairs, right? 57 pairs. Um, and out of those 57 pairs, we only have 28 pairs that are above 20, okay? Above 20, yellow, above 20, okay? So just remember, above 20, yellow, right? Those, is, those are the pairs that are trending or looking to break out. If they're not above 20 and yellow like all these pairs here right these are consolidating all right these are consolidating so we are noticing that 
4x, and this is on the 240, right? The 240 minute time frame. So we might get a bit of consolidation here. Okay, so 4x might tighten up a bit. Okay, so keep that in mind. All right, keep that in mind. Whenever we get a breakdown like that, which is what we had in the market, right? The, the market just came to a halt, like I said. A lot of, look at this. We hardly see this, where we have a lot of, lot of pairs, a lot of groups. And we saw this on both the, the 240 and the 60-minute time frames. Okay? So when we, see, when we see things like this, where it turns all white, remember, red is down, right? Blue is up. White is neutral. White is neutral. Okay, and we have a lot of white here. All right. So basically, the market Forex just came to a complete stop on Friday. Crazy. All right. So, what will, what, and this is what caused it here. And normally, what happens, you know, and it happened here. Look here. It happened here a bit. A lot of selling came in here. All right. Um, no, if you got in, if you if you got in on the buy signal on the 240, you you did okay, right? But but just crazy volatility. This was crazy volatility here. So what generally happens is right now we have no direction. It's neutral. White is neutral. So we might find we might get some consolidation before forex moves again. All right. So keep that in mind, and uh, we might you know. We've seen, the con we've, we've seen the consolidation happening here. Okay, so don't be surprised, right? Anything can happen. You know, things can open up a bit, right? We can get buyers to come in, right? Start breaking um, the new highs here and then get buy signals. But this is, a con this is a concern. This is a concern here, right? This is a concern. All this consolidation in here. And definitely in here. All right. The good news is on the 60 minutes. All right. We had a lot of consolidation on the 60 minute. And it's um, 60 minutes on a smaller time frame. So it's opening up a bit. A lot of that neutral is kind of going away. So hopefully we'll find some direction on the 60 minute. And that will move forward uh, to the 240. Okay. So um, just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind. Okay. Um, any questions for me on any of this? Any questions for me? Any questions? I want to mention um, our stock boss, and I know this is not our stock class, but with what we've seen here, right? With what's going, and it looks like we could be moving higher in equities, okay? It really looks like um, the market is ready to move higher, okay? Um, we are a week away from um, the end of the month, all right? We are a week away from the end of the month. And if you guys look here, right here, this candle here is the current month, okay? This is on the Dow. So this is on the Dow. This is on the monthly time frame. It's on the monthly time frame right here, monthly time frame on the Dow, all right? And we've talked about the Dow, right? This was 2001 market crash, the dot-com. This right here was 2008. This right here was COVID, a COVID crash. And here we are right now. All right. We did get a sell signal on this red candle here on the close of last month. Broke support here. All right. But look here. We, we recovered. We're recovering so far. This market is extremely strong. Equity markets. All right. Long term. Long term. It's very strong. All right. And this current month, this, this red candle was last month. Broke support, gave a red candle here, but guess what? It's recovered, all right? The Dow made it all the way down to 28,700, all right, right here. And now it's all the way back 
current price is 31,000, okay, 200. So it's recovered almost all of last month's losses. So we need to pay attention to that, okay? It's recovered, almost recovered. If it gets up to uh, 31,468, right now it's at 31,204. So it's four point, um, 200 points, okay? And it will, will recover all of last month's um, losses. Hey, Ranjit, welcome. Okay, so we have to pay attention to this. All right, we have to pay attention to this. All right. So if we close, which it looks like we are a week away, a week away for the month closing. All right. So for the close of November, no, for uh, October. All right. And then we've got November and then December. So we might get that Christmas rally. The fourth quarter is usually really, really um, uh, important. Fourth quarter, October, November, December, usually really, really big. We call it the Christmas rally, right? And with this price action here, we might just get that Christmas rally, all right? Any questions on this? Any questions on this? Okay. Notice, every time we get a, a red candle followed by a white candle, you know, we talk about this, that's very, very bullish. All right, so red candle here followed by a white candle. All right, we move up. All right. All right. White candle here. White candle here. Green candle. Right. We get a green candle. We move up. Very bullish. Right. White candles. Green candles. Very bullish. All right. So we got a white candle here. Saved support. It saved support right here. All right. Somewhat neutral, but if we can get a green candle, if if November brings in a green candle, we'll look to move higher and now test the high here. I know it's crazy to think that we might be testing the high. No, we're still a bit, you know, we're still a, a ways from that, but it could happen. All right. It very well could happen. If that happens, we'll see moves in the in the uh, the yen pairs. The yen pairs likes to follow uh, the equity market. So we'll see some movement there. And then hopefully for those of you who you're looking at crypto, right? Bitcoin and, and your other coins, that might help. Okay, that might help. Hey, David, just had a quick question. Hey, Chris. Uh -huh. um, with, with the dollar, you know, getting higher and then still raising interest rates and inflation still being really high like is that is that typically a, a cause for the market to kind of boom like it did the last week or no that's a sign for the market to go down okay so it's not yeah. normal then to no to it's to not do what it... no i mean what we saw on friday and what's been happening uh, this is very strong no it's not over yet right i mean anything can happen but um this is this is this is a big move, but it's it's holding. They they really held that thirty thousand support. All right, they really held that thirty thousand support, um, just like they did here. Okay, um, no, uh, you know, Chris, if you if we look here, this is two thousand eight, and I know we're looking broad, right? We're looking at the big macro. Right, we don't trade off this the price action here, but we can look at the price action here to get an uh, a view of what is happening. Um, we we really needed for the equity markets to your question for the equity markets to move lower. We really needed follow through. So we needed we you know we needed red candle here followed by another red candle, kind of like here. 
you guys see here, this area here. So sellers come in and we need continued selling. It doesn't have to be a lot of selling. We don't need big candles, but we still need red candles. Okay. Red candles. Okay. To move lower here. We had one red candle. All right. So if you look here, this is very similar. This is COVID here. All right. So we had a white candle kind of like this here. All right. No, it's not exact. It's not going to be exact. The price action will change a bit, but we can look at the price action and see, you know, tell what it's doing. All right. This was COVID 2020. Red, white candle, red candle, followed by a white candle. White candle, red candle, followed by a white candle. Prices moved higher after that, after these white candles here. So we could get the same thing here. All right. We really needed for the market to continue to move lower, red candles. No, that doesn't mean next month. I think we will we will close um, um, uh, on a white candle close up, right, it's for the month. So seven, we got seven days, um, seven days, right, left for the month. All right. So one week left, right? I think it will hold. I definitely think it will hold. We would have to have a just a a, a a lot of selling into the in the markets, in the equity markets, um, and in the Dow more specifically for us to get back below. Okay, it just doesn't look like that's going to happen. The buyers are really holding. All right. So um, yeah. So Chris, yeah, it's it's holding. It's tough. Now, what this will do if you guys hear, um, where is the dollar? So in monster futures here, here is the dollar, all right? And the dollar's under pressure right now, right? The equity markets are up right now in the futures and the dollar's under pressure, right? It's down right here, all right? So we could see, right? We could see where um, we could possibly get a sell signal. If the dollar... Um, if the dollar gets, I would say, here is support right about here. So if the dollar gets about, it made a high of uh, 114, 114, almost 115. All right. Currently, it's at 111. If it gets below, I would say right here, 110 or so, we could get a sell signal on the dollar. Okay. And then that the dollar trade will be as long the dollar trade long will be done for now all right and if and the barometer right now what we've seen right now um is that long dollar long dollar right equity markets come down so if the, if the dollar comes down we'll see big moves um in the stock market move higher all right and the rotation we have right now is energy all right, is energy stocks. Does that help, Chris? Yes, thank you. So it's just basically someone's pushing the, the prices up when, and typically they shouldn't be going up with, with the economy the way it's going. Well, you know you know what I think about, right? You guys know what I think about um, the news and all of that, right? So, you know, everything says that, yeah, the economy should be going down, right? Um, but that's not what it's showing in the in the market, right? This month, it's recovering. It's recovering. Okay, it's recovering. So we'll pay attention to that. All right. Um, just like the dollar, just like the dollar here, right? Everything has been saying that the dollar, and you guys know here, we we're gonna put it on a monthly time frame. You know, um, and I, I and I talk to you guys. You know, when when we do one on one coaching, we'll we'll go through this some of this, where everyone is saying, "Hey, the dollar, right? The dollar should be the dollar is gonna crash. The dollar is gonna crash." And but look here, this is on a monthly time frame, right? And we've been trading, we've been trading the dollar long, and you you know we've done well trading the dollar. We've been trading the dollar long. Um, all back in here 
all right end of uh, the B end of last year right end of last year right here all into this year we've been trading this move in the dollar okay so um but we could get a pullback if you guys look here right um the dollar is extended if we bring if we brought in an rsi look here if we brought in an rsi rsi we'll see that it's it's definitely overbought all right look here all right so um and it's flashing overbought so right here on the on this on the monthly time frame so the dollar right here is at a high right here guess what look at that right here overbought okay just like here when it was overbought right in here so we're due for a pullback in the dollar. All right. We're due for a pullback. It's extended. So we could get a pullback. We could get some consolidation pullback. All right. And, you know, RSI might come down a bit. All right. Before it moves higher again. And I'm not saying that it, it will do that. But just know that it's, it's extended. So it's due for a pullback. It's, over, it's overbought. The dollar made a big move up. I mean, this was a big move from last year, right here. So 2021, right here, 2021 to now, it went from uh, almost 87, 90 to up here was about 113, 114, right, 115. So that's a big move straight up. So it's due for a pullback. So we might see, so Chris, we might see a move like this on everyone. All right. We could see something like this. And this is why we follow the price action, you know. So let's move this back to a daily time frame. All right, we'll keep it here. Let's remove this RSI. Okay, so we could see a move like this where we, we, we get that Christmas rally. All right, where is it? Um, right here, go down. Okay, so we could see something like this where um, uh, November, December, we get that Christmas rally. All right, get that Christmas rally. The dollar comes down because it's overbought, right? Right? The equity markets move higher, okay? Get back up to here. And we, we see this a lot, all right? We see this a lot, all right? So the price could move back up in here. We get that Christmas rally, and then after Christmas, and I'm not saying this is what's going to happen, but okay, get up, hit the trend line, all right? Because if the if the if the dollar's overbought, right, the Dow might be a bit oversold. So we could get a move back up here before we get a move back down, retest it, and then move move lower. Okay. All right. Does that make sense? I'm not saying this is what's going to happen. Okay. But it it could. It could. If we let me bring in, let's bring in an RSI on here to see if we're oversold on the monthly. We know we're overbought. We know we're overbought um, on, um, on the dollar. So let's see here. So RSI. All right, we're not quite oversold yet all right it's we're not quite oversold and this is the monthly so we're not quite oversold we're right here oversold would look more like this right oversold would look more like this here on the monthly uh, 2008 2009 right where we crashed we got oversold uh, we're not oversold right even here um covid we didn't get oversold uh, we didn't get oversold 
but we write here. Let me see on a weekly time frame if we oversold on a weekly. Just to see. Uh, weekly time frame. Uh, we got oversold. Uh, we got oversold here on the weekly. This was uh, about June. All right. But we're not oversold. We're not oversold yet. Yeah. All right. Any other questions? Any other questions? Um, yeah, I wanted to talk about. So, um, David. Hey, Zaya, go ahead. When you get a chance, can you pull up EACB on the weekly and 240? Okay, C, C, uh, e -A -A. E -A -C B on the weekly and 240. Okay, I'll pull that up. Um, the reason I wanted to talk about this for those of you who trade Stock Boss and Boom Master, this is important. Okay, so Stock Boss and Boom Master. And Zaya, I'll take a look. I just symbol in a minute. Um, we have a buy signal. Okay, we have a buy signal on energy. All right. We have a buy signal on energy. And I know we don't have an overall buy signal now on the um, on the equity markets, but we do have a buy signal on energy. So those of you, and we've seen energy stocks come up in heat seeker. Okay, so really, really, really pay attention to that. Right here is energy. It's up. It's the only sector, right, that's up from the sectors that we track. Okay. So we don't see a buy, we don't see buying in biotech yet. We don't see buying, even in gold, we don't see buying silver, we don't see buying financials, there's no buying. Uh, technology, no buying yet. Utilities, none. Telecom, consumer discretionary, none. But in energy, and energy is at 21, so it's breaking out. And if you guys look here, it's break, it's breaking resistance. And the last move, we had a really nice move in energy the last time. And we missed this move in energy the last time because um, the markets didn't give a buy signal and energy made a big move up. And you guys should remember this because you saw it in your gas prices, right? Gas prices went up, right? So that was that move here, right? In energy. We're not gonna make that mistake again. Okay, so although we don't have buy signals, now I think based on the price action, we're gonna call it early. So if we get a buy signal, and we do have two buy signals now on the 240, right? So the Dow and um, and the Russell. Okay, if we get if we get a buy signal on the 240 now, on the 240 for the NASDAQ, right? And and um, the NASDAQ and the S&P, we'll call that this week. Okay, but what I want to show you guys is energy is moving higher again. And we have a buy signal here. All right, buy signal right here. Okay, right here. It came in on Thursday. All right, so we called a buy signal for those of you who trade stock boss and bull master with us. We call that. We call that buy signal. Okay, so pay attention to that. Look through your heat seeker. All right, and look for those energy stocks. Okay, and start building. Um, um, it's it's. I wouldn't say build a watch list. You can do that, but you you need to start getting in positions. Okay. Um, uh, so those of you who trade uh, stock boss bull master. Okay, and uh, this is up. This is what. Look at this big move on um, on Friday with um, uh, with equity sectors. Okay, equity sectors, but energy. Energy is the one right here, right? That has a buy signal and it moved up. It moved up the second highest on Friday. Okay, so pay attention. Uh, pay attention to your stock boss. Okay, so this is as of Friday. Look here, a lot of energy stocks here. A lot of energy stocks are coming up. Look at here, buy signal moving higher. Pay attention to that. Okay, so Mary, Charity, look here. Buy signal here. Okay, they're moving up. Okay, wait for your buy signal. 
All right, here's another one here. I think we talked about this one last week. Buy signal here, moving up, okay? So pay attention to that. Same with bull master. I think we have a lot more in bull master. Let's see here. We usually do um, bull master. Look at this. Look at look at this, guys. Look at all of these energy stocks in bull master. Look at this. And you guys remember, we have to pay attention to this stuff. You guys remember, um, a week ago, two weeks ago, we had all, we had nothing in in here, nothing in here. Now look at this. Look at all of these energy stocks in bull master. Okay. So they're definitely buying, right? Look at this, all of these energy stocks here, all of these energy stocks, okay? So they're definitely rotating. This is, the, this, is, this is what they're rotating in. This is where they're moving capital, okay? Definitely in energy, okay? So um, pay attention to that. Um, we called the rotation, called it last week. Okay, so um, go through your heat seeker and, and look for these energy stocks. Look at this, look at this. Lots of energy stocks, right? Not, not compare that energy to healthcare, not a lot in healthcare, all right? Services, technology, not a lot in technology. Transportation, not a lot. Utilities, not a lot, but energy, energy. All right, energy right here. This is where it starts. Right here, energy, and look here. Energy, energy, energy. Okay, not a lot in basic materials, capital goods, but energy. So pay attention to that. Okay, pay attention to that. All right. And look for the ones that have good good markdown phase, right? Good markdown phase, right? And um and good buy and buy signals. All right. All right. Okay. All right. So Zaya Air, Zaya, let's see here. So uh E A C B. E A C B. No, P A C B. P as in Peter, P A C B. Okay. All right. What are you looking to do, Zaire? Go long, go long. Go long. Okay. What um what sector is it in? Do you know? It's bio. That looks like biotech, healthcare. Yes, bio. bio. Okay. On the weekly. Well, two forty probably daily. Two forty daily. Well, um, as we hear on the on the on the weekly, let's take a look and then we'll. All right. Um, and that's a nice cheap stock too. It's seven, it closed at 777. Okay, good job. That's um good support. So you got good support down in this area here. All right. Um, I would focus on no, this is the weekly, right? But I would focus on here was where you got the previous buy signal here. All right. Then you got, and then this got it moved up a bit here. So this was a decent trade here, but then this was an even better trade. Here was a second buy signal right here, very similar, okay? And then here we are again, right here, all right? So buy here, got out here, bought here, sold here, break up that support right here. And then here you are, right? Here's the markdown phase, really nice markdown phase, so it's setting up right here. All right, so no buy signal yet on the weekly, but really good. Held support. You guys see that? Really good job holding support down in this area right here, right here. All right. It fell from what about, that's about 55, 60 all the way down. Okay. So Zaya, you're looking at it right here. So very good, very good. Um, and you're looking to go long. That's a, this is a good setup here. Uh, let's take a look at the daily and then the 240. The daily has a buy signal. So the daily. So the daily here, here's your nice markdown phase. All right. 
Um, here you've got pretty good resistance. Right here is where you've got really good resistance. And we know it can run based on the weekly time frame. We know we know it can move, right? So here is where you've got resistance is on the daily. And then you've got support right here, right here. This buy signal failed on this break of resistance here. It failed here. So hopefully this buy signal doesn't fail. All right. So um, and if the market moves higher, Right now, this biotech, this is biotech, so it's not part of that energy group, all right? Um, but you, if the market move, continue to move higher, biotech will eventually move higher, give a buy signal. So, um, but you got a buy signal here, right? So you got a buy signal here. Um, a bit risky because you're not in the, you, let's take a look at biotech. Let's take a look at biotech, um, biotech, biotech. So biotech, uh, let's see here. Biotech is right here. Okay, so it's holding support right here, but we don't have buyers yet. So keep that in mind, Zaire. Just keep that in mind. Um, no buyers yet coming into that sector. Um, it's just basically holding support. Support is right here. Um, healthcare. Let's see if we have anything on healthcare. Um, so we've got some buying coming in on healthcare, a green candle here. So that might help you. That's the only concern. You don't have the, you don't have buy signals yet. Okay. Um, but if the overall market continues to move higher, that will, that should help. Um, this stock here. Uh, let's see here. So um, buy signal right here. Hey, Gerald. Hey, Gerald. Um, buy signal right here. Um, right here. You see that, Zaire? On the daily. Yeah, I see. Yeah. And uh, nice resistance, right? It's gone through that markdown phase, right? So all that selling, it looks like all the selling has been done, right? All that selling has been done. Here is your accumulation phase. All right, so we just need to get that through that markup phase. Uh, let's take a quick look at the 240. And what's, uh, Zaya, which, which, your two, the 240 is your trading window? Yeah. Okay. All right, uh, let's see here. Uh, 240. <clears throat> All right, on the 240, okay. So on the 240, looks much better. All right, so on the 240 Zaire, here you are here. Here's your resistance, nice break right here. Here's your buy signal right here, right? Right, we're out of that accumulation phase, right? And you're getting it at the bottom, which is nice. That's what we want. Look at this, guys. All right, so nice accumulation phase. We've got a buy signal here, all right? And it's, it's, it's breaking through that. Um, resistance pretty good. So good. What price did you get in at Zaire? Well, I got it. What happened is that like I hold it the last time from eight and I watched that pull back. So um um I got it like at eight dollars. Okay, okay. Yeah, because um with that run over there uh, on the fifth, I okay. got in over there, but I realized that it went up. 
Then I had a pullback, so I'm like, I'm gonna hold it. You know? Okay. Um, and I don't know if the market, what condition the market was doing when this happened here. Yeah, because we, I mean, we got in, and I know we were looking at it. You probably don't remember, but it I ran don't... up so fast. Oh, okay. And it came back down. It's like we were was in, that... we were in this with T L. What is it? T T E L L something like that. Yellow, 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 white, okay. yellow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yellow. I think it was part of transportation, and that one ran up so fast, and I missed it. So I'm like, you know what? Oh, this, this was the keep... one. This is the one that's part of transportation. So this is not biotech. No, it's biotech, but we were also in Yelp. Okay, yes, I remember. Yes, so we're um, in that part of the trade. Uh... Okay, I remember. Um, I would pay attention to the, um, um, let's see on the monthly. Now, this is, um, this is more trading environment. Okay, it's not trending at all, right? So it's not a pump and dump. <laughs> I know it looks like it, right? Spiked up and um, but it's more, it's not trending, right? It's more um, so it's got pretty good support, pretty good support down here. Um, so you could get a move, but just you know, um, you know, it's not something that you you want to when you get your sales signal you want to get out right because it it every time it makes a big move it comes back down it doesn't stay up. Right? It doesn't yeah, it has a um like earnings report coming out on the third, I think. So I'm hoping that it'll just push it up and I'll just get out. Okay, okay, yeah, you might get a move um back if you look here you might get a move um you've got some resistance. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. you got some resistance, a little bit of resistance at nine. All right, at nine. Um, uh, some at about twelve. Your biggest resistance though is going to be right here at twenty. Okay, so if you you put it on, you trade it on the two forty, right? You'll be able to you'll be able to get out quickly if things change. All right, yeah. So two forty, two forty. All right. Okay. Very good. Very good. Start looking at, like I said, energy stocks, right? Start, everyone start looking at um, energy stocks. It's the only sector. And, and, and I'll end with this. I'll end with this. And I spoke with some of you guys about this um, in your coaching. You can have everything collapsing and capital going into a sector so we could have the markets right doing bad and then we might have one sector that all that capital is going all right so right now that's it energy is it right now but the rest will follow right the rest will follow if the market if the markets hold now we holding we we watching the 240 the vix is coming down we're watching the 240 closely. If we get a sell signal on the 240 here and here, we got to go back, back to the join board. Okay. If we get a buy signal here on the, on the NASDAQ, buy signal here on the Russell, we'll call it. And then hopefully the VIX comes down and then we, we, cont we get continued buying. This pulls up. Right, we get that Christmas rally, which would be nice. Would be nice to get that nice Christmas rally, right? Um, and you know, and then hopefully we get start getting buy signals on the daily, and then we can move this from the two forty daily. All right, but we're gonna watch this closely because it's um, it's crazy times right now, right? So things are crazy. You guys saw on Friday. A lot of crazy volatility on Friday. All right. So, you know, in traders are all over the place right now. A lot of indecision. All right. But, you know, we can do well with that also. All right. All right, guys. Any other questions for me? Any other questions for me? 
Okay. Um, let's pay attention to um, also 4X, right? Um, like I said, a lot of white in here. White is not good. A lot of indecision here. Okay, but we'll keep an eye on things. All right. So we, we, we're not trading anything right now, right? We're not trading the pound. Um, the yen pairs, rather. We're not trading the yen pairs. We're not trading the dollar pairs. If you guys are in specific pairs and they're holding their buy signals, that's fine. Okay, but overall, this right here is not good. And we're seeing, like I said, we're seeing more consolidation in the pairs. All right? And we'll start tracking everything with um, the new Monster Forex tracker. We're going to track things a bit in real time. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for Q&A. All right. See you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.